Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to do these neon Easter nails with some stamping over. This is the stamping plate I'm using. It's by Cutting Boost Junior and it has these cute little bunny designs on it. The nail polishes I'm using are this green color called Maldivas by DNA, which is a Brazilian brand. And also Brazilian brand Anita is the pink, the color's name is Dubai. As with my other videos, I'll show you guys at least one nail in normal speed, just so you have an idea how long it takes. And the sped up portions are sped up by five. And before I did the nail painting there, I cleaned my nails with acetone and I also applied some peel off base coat. I always use base coat. Just in this video, I jumped straight ahead to the nail polish painting there. So this is the green. It obviously is gonna take a little more coats than that. It took three coats to look good in opacity which I think is okay, neon polishes are a little bit tough, but that's kind of hard to justify when you look now at the pink, because the pink looked good in one and perfect in two coats. So that's a good reference brand for neons, I guess. And they also have a nicer brush, in my opinion. I personally prefer these shorter, wider brushes and that also are a bit rounded at the tip so it kind of fits the cuticle perfectly. So I really like that. And on my other hand, I did the inverse of this one, the, like a mirror. So the pinky and the thumb in green and the others in pink. In this particular pink, it dries to a matte finish, kind of a rubbery finish. But once you put the top coat over it, it looks just fine. I use a glossy top coat and it looked glossy. So no worries there. And you will see in all layers, I try to wrap the tip, which is just putting polish a little bit on the tip of the nail. That just helps to seal in the manicure. Even though I use peel off base coat, I still like to seal it off. That helps with not peeling off accidentally the nail polish. And even though the pink looked good in two coats, I just did three coats to match the green. Before the stamping, I'm going in with a top coat, a quick dry top coat. This one is by Brazilian brand Ideal, Ideal. And again, first nail, normal speed, and everything else sped up. The reason why I'm applying the top coat is to dry the polish quicker for us to apply the stamping. You can do the stamping over normal polish if you want. It just is gonna take longer to dry. And I like to do it also because if we mess up the stamping, there is a chance we can save it. We can try to use acetone and a little brush to try and clean off the design and it won't damage the polish underneath because we'll have the protective layer of the top coat. It doesn't always work, but at least there's a chance. Now I'm checking if the nails are dry for us to do the stamping. I have all my stamping material there, the silicone mat to clean my scraper, the scraper, the stamper, and the plate. So again, this is a stamping plate by Brazilian brand Carimbus de Unha. It's their X14 plate and it looks super cute. First off, I'm just using basic stamping black polish. Scrape it, clean my scraper, and then pick it up. The design didn't quite pick up on the tip of the ear of the bunny, but that's okay, not being a perfectionist here, so I thought that was okay. I also tried a couple of designs before this one in white, but my white polish was kind of too dense or too creamy, so it wasn't working so well. I did use it for some other designs, but the first couple I tried to use didn't pick up so well, so I switched to the black polish. 
and this one just standard stamping over the nail. I'll show you guys some other types of stamping in this video, like layered stamping and what some people call advanced stamping, which is when you color over the stamping design. But these first couple of ones are just regular stamping. On that one, it picked up two designs, so that bottom one, I didn't want to mess up my finger, so I cleaned it off camera. I just used sticky tape. You can use whatever tape you want, like a lint roller, and you just pick it up from the stamper. Don't use acetone, don't use polish remover. Just do it with the tape, otherwise you can damage your stamper. Now going with the white, I'm gonna do some layered stamping. So those designs at the top there, they're supposed to be, you pick up that base on the top right corner and the next two designs to the left of it, you can use over it to do some designs. So that's something I really like on some stamping plates when you can do that layering. It's pretty different. You just gotta have a good aim when you come in with the second layer. And on that one, the white picked up just fine. That white blob of the Easter egg there. But the other designs, it wasn't really picking up so well. I'm gonna do this first design, which are some stars. I thought they looked kind of plain. I wish I did the advanced stamping on this one as well. Still looks cute, but I think it would have looked cuter if I colored it in a bit more. And as I mentioned, you gotta have some good aim there to make sure the design sticks. But even if it looks a little offset, I still think it looks a bit charming, so it's okay. And next up, I'm gonna show you guys the advanced stamping, which is when you color over the design before you stamp. I'm going to pick up the carrot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to paint the carrot body in pink to stamp over the green. For that I'm going to use that brush, that little tiny brush. Pick up some pink polish and just paint over. This first advanced stamping I'm showing in normal speed and the other ones I do throughout the video will be sped up times 5. One thing to be careful when doing advanced stamping is when you're painting it over to not touch the outline that you picked up from the plate because it will be pretty dry so it can so you can remove it from the stamper accidentally it can you know raise the design and just kind of peel it off even the parts that you're painting as the polish starts to dry that's something to be careful as well it can dry and it can peel off once you go over it with the brush. It's something you kind of have to learn doing it. I did definitely peel off some designs before I got to this one and some other occasions where I tried to do advanced stamping. So you kind of just have to fill it out. And one of the reasons it's taking so long is because I'm having to pour some more polish out because I just poured a little drop but then it starts to dry and it gets really thick. So I just poured some more to be able to continue with painting and also cleaning the brush because the polish on the brush also starts to get a little thick. And you don't have to be so careful going over some of the detail lines in the design there because once we flip the design over to stamp, the outline is gonna cover whatever you messed up. So as you can see there, even the parts I went over the lines, 
look just fine. And since the design dried because we were coloring it, coloring it in for a long time, I have to make sure the polish has a sticky base, so I'm just applying some top coat to make sure we have that sticky base to stamp over it. So I applied the top coat, I gave it a few seconds to dry, and now we're going over it with the stamping. Because if you have dry polish and the dry design on the stamper, it's not gonna stamp it. And also that glitter I was showing is the glitter I'm gonna use to kind of color in the leaves. So that's another reason why I needed to have a sticky base, otherwise the glitters were not going to stick. To pick up the glitters, I'm using an improvised stick. It's supposed to be like a nail stick. And I just put some candle wax at the end of it to help pick up the glitters a bit better. You can use a toothpick here, that's just fine. You don't have to buy anything fancy. If the toothpick is not picking up, you can put some polish over and wait for it to dry. That can help with picking it up or you can use some candle wax like I used here. That should be fine. You don't need those fancy, you don't need any of those fancy tools to pick up glitter and, or anything. This is what it looks like with the hollow green glitter on it. And I just use the other end of the stick, which is a cuticle pusher to push in the glitters a bit more before I went in with the top coat. And going in with the top coat, being very careful not to drag the design, but I think this top coat did not work well with stamping because it was dragging basically all of the designs. Even though I waited for it to dry, I tried to apply some quick dry drops and it was still dragging a bit so that carrot it dragged a bit at the top uh, nothing super noticeable but it did drag a bit and here we're picking up this design that is an entire nail design i love those designs i think they look kind of like patterns on the nail kind of like fabric patterns or something and i'm gonna do some advanced stamping here also but this one is sped up because we already saw how long it takes For this one, I'm coloring in the leaves of the carrots in green. And one thing I could have done is I could have checked what part I was gonna stamp on my nail and just color over those parts because obviously not everything was gonna be stamped on my nail. So I didn't need to color everything in. I just thought about that after. So <laughs> that's why I'm coloring everything. Once again, applying top coat to make sure we have a sticky base under, otherwise the stamp is not going to stick. And you will see when I stamp on this one, especially you can see how dry it is on the stamp or the design and why we need that sticky layer underneath it. Some of it even kind of overhangs over the nail there. There, I have a little leaf hanging that I'm just gonna push in and deal with it afterwards. <laughs> to clean up, we're gonna use some tape. Just be careful to not do what I did. And I touched my other nail with it and it picked up some of my green polish. So I had to fix that afterwards. But otherwise you can just use tape to clean up your finger. Any part that the stamp stamped over your finger, you can use tape. And then the little parts you can use the stick or a precision brush to clean off and remove. And now for the second layer stamping, I'm actually doing layered and advanced stamping on this one. So we're picking up the base in white. It has some gaps in the design, but that's fine because we're going to do the layers over it, so it should cover some of it. And again, I'm not aiming for 
perfectionist here, so it should be okay. And I'm picking up the other design, and I'm gonna just color over some of the little details on the Easter egg there. And I wanted to do these neon Easter nails because usually for Easter we associate more with pastel shades. And I thought these shades still work well for Easter. It's kind of like a cool green and a pink. Still colors that you see on like the Easter eggs and the decorations, but with the neon punch to them. The only thing for me, I thought it was a bit overkill having the neon and stamping all the nails. So maybe for the future, I would just do one or the other. So a neon set of nails and maybe stamping on an accent nail rather than all of them, because otherwise it felt a bit much. <laughs> but if that's your thing, go for it. Just for me personally, I could do with just one or two stamps on the nails. For the other design, I'm picking up those bunnies, and I love those bunnies. Those bunny butts also. <laughs> that bunny just looking over the shoulder is the reason why I got that stamping plate. He's so cute. I can't stand it. So since I picked up two designs at once there, I'm already gonna take the chance and stamp two nails. I'm not gonna even clean it up. I'm just gonna stamp both nails there. And I'm trying to do mirrored nails. So I did the layered stamping on the index, the entire nail on the middle finger, and for the thumbs, I'm doing the little buttons. And my thumb has this issue. It's a little raised on the parts of the cuticle there. So usually when I try to do stamping too close to it, I get that issue where it doesn't pick up. I tried to fix with the stick, I tried to push it back in, but it ended up just pulling the design. It was okay, because it was still matching the outline of the polish, but just something to watch out with stamping if you have higher corners on your fingers. That could be an issue, you might have to push the, stamp a bit, the stamper a bit further, or you might need to do like I did on that nail and just avoid the corner as much as possible to not have that issue. And this is a scenario of things work out even when they don't because I wanted to pick up the bunny ears, but when you see it on the stamper, some of the edges didn't quite pick up because of the pressure I applied. This happens with stamping, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So since the edges there didn't quite pick up, I was like, okay, I'll just do the carrot then and it will match my other pinky. And since I'm stamping over the pink now, I just painted the leaves with the green polish instead, kind of like the opposite from what I did on the other nail. Since this one, I didn't spend so long coloring it in. I didn't apply the top coat under it. I just went in with the stamping and it worked fine. I just cleaned off the other designs to not get my finger dirty. You can stamp it and clean it off afterwards, but I just find it easier cleaning it on tape, the stamper, rather than trying to use the tape to clean my finger. So that's why I cleaned it off before stamping. And for my middle finger on the other hand, to do kind of the mirror, I picked up the entire nail design, but now in white, and since we're stamping over green, I wanted to choose some part of the design to paint with a pink, and I thought the bunny ears would be a good option to do that. And again, I didn't need to paint everything, I just needed to paint what was being stamped on my nail, but I forgot to do that. And here you can see what I mean about my white polish not quite working, it was a bit thicker, so it wasn't picking up as well as the black polish was 
for the design. So you can see it has a bunch of gaps there at the top. And since this one I took a bit longer, I'm again going in with top coat, giving it a few seconds until it's sticky, and then going in with the stamping. Since I was already doing top coat, I decided to do my other fingers and as I mentioned, it dragged the design. I think there's something in this top coat that, I don't know, reactivates the stamping polish or something. So I was having to be really careful to not drag. That little bunny dragged a lot and it was the first one I did, so it was supposed to be very dry at this point, so it shouldn't have dragged. So that's why I think there's something on the top coat that, I don't know, reactivates it or something. And here you can see some of the overhangs because the stamping was really dry on the stamper. And it's fine, we can push it with the stick, being careful to not pick up any designs that should be on the nail. If you are apprehensive of doing that, you can use the precision brush to clean it off. I just try to avoid using the brush as much as possible because the stamping polish is really pigmented, so it's hard to clean it with the acetone or the polish remover. So I just try to clean as much as I can with either tape or the stick and just use the precision brush as a last resort. But you can use it just fine. It could be an, an alternative to fix the designs there instead of using the stick like I'm using. Here to try to mitigate the dragging, I used some quick dry drops before applying the top coat, but it did not work. It usually works super well, but again, when I went in with the top coat, it kind of reactivated and dragged the design. So I had to be really careful, some of them still dragged a bit, especially the ones that were just pure black outline, but you can only see it from up super up close, so that's fine. That was one of the nails that dragged the most, so I was able to be really careful there at the beginning. I, I'm being super careful to not touch the brush, but you can see there on the left that it dragged a little bit, and the other ones kind of worked out a bit better, but I did put a lot of top coat. And here I wanted to show you guys what this same stamps look like over another color, like a lighter color. I think the white looks a bit better over that white color than on the neon. So I wanted to show you guys like the difference it makes when you have a different color polish under your stamping. Still using the same colors and same designs to stamp, but a different base color. I personally love doing white over lighter color polishes. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, this is the final result. As I mentioned, some of the designs dragged, but that's fine. You can only see it really up close. I still think it came out pretty cool. My favorite designs, personally, are the with the Easter egg and the advanced stamping. That one there, I thought it came out pretty cool. And I also really like the pinky that has the carrot with the holographic glitter on the leaves that I, when I really liked, I thought it looked pretty fun as well. And that's it, I hope you guys liked it as well, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching, bye!